All right, first up today, we're gonna show you how to put a twist on one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, as I told you, nachos. All right, these tasty things, they're savory, they're sweet, and they come with a touch of heat. I love it. This looks like the perfect appetizer to enjoy in the patio yes. with your favorite summer beverage. Chef Kate Luloff is here from Jones Dairy Farm to make these Hawaiian bacon nachos. Oh, that's This is oh. not your basic <laughs> cheese and chips or even Tiff's suggestion with the salsa on top. These look absolutely phenomenal. This looks Thank incredible. You. A little bit different, a little bit of a twist. Like you said, summery. Got lots of summer flavors going on. Not a lot of cooking yeah. involved at all, which is great in summer. Yeah. All you have to cook is the bacon. The rest yep. of it is cold. And that's a meal. I think you could serve that. Yeah. Well, for sure. I'm gonna make that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and pretty simple. I mean, just it's, it takes a little bit of you know just prepping the veggies and, and things like that. But then once you throw it together, it's really 10 minutes. It's done. Oh, so it's amazing. Yeah. It almost looks like a salad when you see it like yeah. that. But yeah, it, it, it's it nachos. <laughs> All right, so what do we all got going on here? Obviously the bacon, but do you choose the, the cherry wood? I or use the cherry hickory? wood for this. You can use either okay. one. If you want a little bit less sweet, then go with the hickory. But I'm doing the cherry wood, and I find it's easier um, when you're doing something like this, cut it up first and then put it in the pan. Yeah. It'll cook okay. up a little yeah, more. Yeah, it cooks faster. You might get a little bit more crispy, yeah. right? Right, cook up a little more evenly. You got w it. What else is on them? Uh, so I have chips on the bottom, and I just got okay. some blue and white corn chips. Okay. So we can Are we making some? Yeah, we can all go. Right. Okay. Want to do it or yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, can I just so put them all out, or sure. too, not, is that too many? Uh, we'll we'll see. How about that? Perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you got girls got to eat chips on the so bottom. Careful. Our bacon is cooking here, so we'll let that for just another minute yet, and then that'll be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have okay, so um, pineapple, and all I right. just diced it very small. And then we've got a little bit of jalapeno Ooh, that looks good for heat, a little bit of red pepper. A I like this color. The pineapple's color like we're sweet. replacing like a corn salsa. Right, or like yeah. a mango salsa is yeah. real popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're mm -hmm. doing pineapple instead, yep. Okay. So we've got some red onion, kick I it up a little bit. Here, we've got <laughs> Nothing gets <laughs> by you, <laughs> oh, that's for sure. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did a little garlic and a little ginger. That'll just give it that little extra punch with the ginger. So a little bit of a unique flavor. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you just toss those all together and then we've got cilantro, fresh Yum. cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, leave it out, no big Who deal. Who doesn't like cilantro? What's the matter with you? you know, Nerds. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> and then fresh squeezed lime juice, okay. which of course is going to bring all the flavors together and give it that little bit of acidity that it needs. Yeah. So definitely. Save what's left for your margarita. Yeah. Right? Perfect. Yeah. Pineapple doesn't like brown either, right? Like no. other things like Correct. That. Okay. Correct. Nope. I actually cut this up like that. Uh, last night and it's totally fine. So Yum. Looks so you delish. Just toss that all together. Okay. Okay. And then we've got our How bacon. Did you cut that so small. <gasps> the bacon? Like, no, no, no. The oh. pineapple. pineapple. Like that's not oh, really. Oh yeah, good. that is yeah, really I small. When, you just, when I realized She's that you cut chef. that yourself, I'm like, wow, that's a really actually really <laughs> impressive chop on pineapple. <laughs> That's a she small is a shock. I know. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> that is very. From a can. Uh, didn't. That's dice. I would say. <laughs> okay, so the pineapple salsa goes yeah. on before the bacon. I put it on before just because I like to see all the bacon on the There top. you go, the salsa before the cheese is Ta-da! Yeah. Okay, there's your tip. <laughs> mm -hmm. So everything on here, like we said, is going to be cold, which is a little bit different than a regular nacho, yeah, but right, it's right. cool. Okay. And then we've got queso fresco, which is a crumbling cheese rather than a melting cheese. Okay. So that it comes in a wheel, you got to crumble it up yourself. So we'll sprinkle okay. some of that on. That's so good. What and kind of cheese course, is it again? Don't be shy, keep going. It's uh, queso, queso fresco. fresco. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Sometimes it'll say Mexican crumbling cheese on it. It's a diet of <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, All right, we'll yeah. let our bacon drain for just a minute here, and then we're going to top it with, after we put the bacon on, I've just got a lime crema, which is just simply uh, sour cream okay. with a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of garlic for oh, some Oh, nice. Lunch. So if you want to okay. grab that little squeezy bag oh, and squeeze okay. some of that on there, Got go right ahead. Oh, right now? Sure. Okay, here we go. Doesn't oh, this really is matter like being what order pastry you put chef. It in. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, Ooh yeah. yeah, make it party. This <laughs> is looking good. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the barbecue sauce. I'm oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Let me get in That's there next. That. Barbecue Does sauce. Does it go first okay. before the bacon? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way and make it look. Nice. Perfect. Make a little crisscross pattern. Crisscross applesauce. Bam. And nice. then we'll put this bacon on here, which is a little bit hot. Hot. Here, but that's. Perfect. So everything else is cold and the bacon's going to be hot. <laughs> Your okay. poor little fingers. You're like burning the tips yeah. for sure. Like, it will just sprinkle. <laughs> but this we'll just dump it. Get it in there. But see, you can see all the bacon. You get that very unique flavor. Oh, this chip right here. As oh, we've talked about before. Yeah, loaded chip. This bacon, dry aged bacon. Yeah, talk about the bacon. So we, we smoke it and cure it and then we hang it for up to three weeks. Don't burn your mouth. I won't. Up to three okay. weeks. 
um, so that all that flavor soaks in and it intensifies and you just get this pure bacon mm. flavor. This one, the cherry will come through for sure. Oh, you have the no sugar bacon too, that's We right. have the no sugar bacon. If you prefer to use that, we've got hickory like we talked about and then this is the cherry. So um, you can find those just about any retailer. So I, I think a lot of people, good. Oh my God. I'm about to put it in my mouth. Um, <laughs> if people are, incredible. are looking specifically for the cherry wood and they're <laughs> thinking, I don't know if the grocery store closest <laughs> to me yep. carries that, yep. what do I do? Mm. Go to jonesdairyfarm.com. There's a product locator. Mm. And then you put in your zip code. You can select cherry wood bacon and it'll show you which stores have it. So you know exactly which store to go to. You don't have to run around. Oh my gosh. Looking okay. for it. So, mm. this is one of my favorite things you've ever made. Really? Yeah. Awesome. This is so. Thank you. It's just, it's just really summery, you know, and you get that nice bacon flavor, but mm -hmm. those other flavors pair well with it. So, yeah. And oh my gosh. on the website, you gotta too, try this. Mm -hmm. Just a note if you're looking for the Hawaiian nachos, maybe you're having trouble navigating, because I looked for it today and printed it. Um, you, there's a great search bar that's super easy to use. You can put in Hawaiian nachos or any part of it. Right. It'll come right up. You right. can print it. There's a great print button. It's Tons super of recipes easy. recipes on there. Yep. Great Absolutely. recipes this is right now. You got to mm, do it. Too good. The Hawaiian bacon nachos. Here's where you do it. JonesDairyFarm.com. Look at that big. And all their other <laughs> recipes as well. Holding nachos. Is he wearing a Christmas shirt? <laughs> and a Hawaiian sweater? shirt. It's a Hawaiian oh, shirt. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Nothing gets by you. Oh, the oh, background. Okay. <laughs> Tit for Thanks, tat. Kate. Thank you so much, Gabe. Thank Appreciate you. it.